Okay, and welcome back to part two. So basically in this section, we are going to be designing two extra screens. Basically the first screen in user sees, obviously zero Naira, okay? That's the first screen the new user is going to see. And also once you click on this transaction, we want to create a transaction detail, okay? And uh, for, for uh, consistency sake, let me just select this. And I want to make this zero. It should be zero since it's inside a, a container, okay? And we, you know, remember we used uh, clip content for this. So if you don't activate clip content, the elements are just going to spread out, okay? So if I should deactivate this, and if you adjust this, you can see, you can see, you can see actually, you can see that curve, right? You can see that curve. You can see. But once I select it and I use clip content, now it clips the content. So you want to do clip content. And uh, let's move this. Uh, let's move these ones over here now. Okay. Let's move this over here now. Now let's duplicate this. And this will be our dashboard. Let's, let's just call this one dashboard new user. Okay. New user. And obviously new user is going to have zero naira. So let's go ahead and make that 0, 0.00. Okay, and add spending money. So we don't want, we don't have any of this right here. Okay, because there's no card and there is no transaction. So let's just go ahead and pick this logo. Control C, let me come right here and paste it. Okay, I just want to do a simple design there. And voila, okay. Now the next thing you want to do is to, obviously let's convert this color. Okay, let's select this logo and let's change this color to light blue 100. Okay, let me center it. And I want to pick my text tool and I want to start typing. So let me pick my text tool. Let me type, um, stop walking, stop walking around with your savings. Okay, just something. With your savings, comma, add your weekly expenditure to spendy and start spending safely. Okay. Uh, so basically, the idea of this app is is like an e-wallet so you know uh, with uh, one chance and everything when you have your you know your banking app on your phone uh, the chances are when you enter into a one chance they're going to empty it but right now with spendy you can actually you know delete all your banking apps and then you don't need to go around with your atm so basically you can put in if you if you spend thirty thousand naira a week you can always you know use your card to put in thirty thirty thousand naira and you know you, you start spending from spendy that's basically the idea uh yeah so you can choose to keep your card if you have coconut head or you can choose not to keep your card so if you keep your card you're going to see that managed card right there if you don't keep your card you will not see the managed card right there so basically every you know, every weekend you add money, add spending money, add and you keep spending. Uh, let's go ahead, let's change this to our text style. Let's change this to uh, body regular more. Okay. And I want to go ahead and give that the same color. Okay. Uh, let's use our normal body, our normal body base. Okay. Let's uh, center this. So oh your okay and okay great let's go ahead as blue 100 okay so we want to select this and we shall select this shift a and let's use 16 right there now let's use uh, 16 okay and let's use 24 because this is a logo so we want to give it a, a more breathing space So we want to give it a better breathing space. So, oops. So we want to give it a better breathing space. So let's go ahead and center that. And the next thing I want to do is to bring in my button. Let's go in there and bring in this button. Okay, button. And I want to deactivate the icons. 
I know some people by now will be asking, why did we even add the icons? We've not used them. Well, we are likely going to use it shortly. So let's maybe repeat this ad spending money. Okay. Ad spending money. Yeah, so I don't know if there's an app like this. Maybe it might be a feature in an app, in a bigger app. But I think an app like this can actually help a lot of people. And okay, so let's go ahead and change that to outline. So this is what we want. And I'm going to select this and this and shift A. And I want to go on ahead and make that 32. 32. Okay. So let me just come in here. Let me do some center alignment. Now let me take the measurement of this. Okay. This height is 70. This is 350. And you remember we have 24 here. Okay. So we have 16 here, right? Yes, 16. So 350 plus 16 plus 70. So let me draw something right here. So for the height, 350 plus 16 plus 70. That should give us 436, okay? So let me place it just above there. I want to get the center alignment correct. So let's move, I want to find a way to move this to this point. Uh, okay. Like, let me select this. Select this, let me hit top. Okay, so perfectly. So now I can select this and then select this. I want to perfectly align it at the middle. Okay, great. So let's do, take away this. So we are basically done with this particular screen. So on this particular screen, once you come in, it's going to tell you, stop working around with your savings, add your, so let's uh, spell that, do that spelling right there. Okay, so stop working around with your weekly spending, with your weekly savings, okay? Add your, stop working around with your savings, add your weekly expenditure to spendy and start spending safely. So add spending money. So that's it. Then the next thing is the transaction page. So we want to work on the transaction page now. So once you make a transaction, what are we going to have? So when you click on this for to view the transaction, obviously you're going to have a back button. So instead of starting afresh, I'm just going to pick this recovery and control D. Okay. So I'm going to bring this right here. Let me drop it here. Okay. Let me shift this. Okay. Now let me go in here and type in transaction. Transaction history. Okay. No, transaction. Not transaction history. Transaction. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me delete this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want them. Okay. I don't want those. So, but I want to activate our guide so we can actually see what we're doing. So the first thing I want to do now is to, I can actually pick this, duplicate this and drop it here. Okay. Let me drop it here. And I want to type in NGN. Let's pick that from 1000. Okay. 1000. Point zero zero. You want to make sure you have that comma right there. 1000.00. And then status. We want to create a status for it. Okay. So let's pick our text to and let's type in, let's zoom in. Successful. Okay. Successful. For this one, let's go in and choose our bold 16. Okay. Body bold body base bold okay and then we want to add an auto layout to this because uh we want to make it like a button okay but basically it's just for that um message that's feedback so shift a for for this let's go ahead and do shift a okay now once you do shift a go ahead and give it a uh, clip content okay now select 16 for the left and right and for the top and bottom, go ahead and choose four. You don't want it, you know, too big. And then you want to also come to the corner radius and make it 100. You want it fully round, okay? So for the fill, you want to go in and choose success 100, okay? And for the successful itself, the font, 
you want to go ahead and choose success 500 so I think that should be semi bold do we have semi bold for base base semi bold okay body semi bold okay body okay great it should be that uh, new one we created the semi bold so it is not too distracting so let me go ahead and select these two now and i want to add shift a to them but they need to be a little bit closer so let's go there and make it eight because they need to really be very close so people can know that it's associated with this so what we want to do now okay is to select this and we want to adjust here adjust here just drag it across okay let's put it at the center okay now let's drag this up okay great and i want it to also come in here let's select this and we can see the size there is 200 so i want to make sure this one too is 200 okay so we also have okay we also have 200 right here but now we want to make sure the distance to is 24 so let's move it down let's give it a color white so that we can actually see what we're working on let's give it color white okay so i want to make it 200 there so now we've given it color white i just want to make sure it's the same it's on the same height with this let's select this alt that's 29 so let's just move up five times one two three four five okay select this alt 24 okay great so we've actually cleared this part now what we can do is to create a box okay we can create a box okay we can create a box select this let's bring it on top right click and click on bring to front okay now select this take it all the way here let's also right click on this and select bring to front okay bring to front so we can also select this and move it down down there and we also want to go ahead and make this one white that's what we want okay white basically okay so we have this we have this and let's select these guys and hide the guide we no longer need the guide okay let's hide it now that we've done this the next thing we just want to do is to show some details of the transactions so for this we are going to create another card okay uh we just want another card let's go there and pick the text tool and let's type in category okay so let's go back size 14 we're using small not the bold one okay not the bold one okay this is what we want let me activate the grid so that we can see what we're doing we can place things properly so category right there and control d and for this what what was it uh airtime mtn okay so we're going to call it airtime MTN. Okay. So let's go ahead and select these two. And let's add Shift A. That's auto layout right there. And remember to clip content. And for the color, we want to go with white. Okay. White. Now for the pattern, remember 16. Okay. And once we are done with this, the next thing we want to do is to give it the color. So remember the color we're using right here let's go ahead and pick that color what color was that that should be gray 700 okay neutral let's come to color selection and just it's faster from there gray 700 okay great okay let's go ahead and uh, add a height to it let's add a height to it let's add about um, 56 so let's select this and put in 56 right there for the height okay let's center it okay but now i want to you know space things well double click to space it so that you can actually adjust perfectly okay so there we have it 56 and there you have it okay it's okay the next thing 
you want to do is to now convert this to a component okay let's call this transaction descriptions okay let's call it transaction descriptions and what i want to do i want to add a little uh, an outline on that but i just want to put only one side so stroke uh, let's go ahead and add that light, sorry, not light gradient, uh, the light 50. For the part, we just want the bottom, and for the style, we're using that dotted style, dash. Okay, now let's convert this to a component, and then let's do Ctrl D. We have this, and uh, let's move this right here. Okay, great. Now let's select this now. Let's select this now, and we want to go ahead and then duplicate it, Ctrl D. I thought we added this to the bottom, right? I'm seeing it everywhere. The outline, the outline should just be at the bottom, sorry. Select this and just select bottom, okay? Okay, we only want it at the bottom. So let's come back here now and uh, let me hide this grid for now, hide it. So let me select one and two and shift A to zero, okay? Add border radius 16, click content, yes, okay. And then we, let's just create two more here, control D, control D, okay? And for this, we want to put in date, and here we want to put in, let's just say 24, 24 slash 10 slash 20, 23. And let's put in space there and put time to 45 p.m. Okay. Now for this, we're going to put in reference. And for here, let's type in any 15. Uh, 12 digit number, any 12 digit number. Okay, let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And then lastly, we want to have card. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's come here and edit this. We have this 1, 2, 3, 4 space. And what was the ending of that card? 4, 6, 5, 4, 5, 6, 2, 4, 5, 6, 2. Okay. So that's what we have there. And we are actually almost done with this particular page. So now, the next thing I want to do is to just get my button. Let me get my button. And I just want to drop this button here, just in case this person wants to replay this transaction. Remember, let's move it up to 16. Hold on, out 16. Move it up to 16. Okay, 16. Okay, perfect. Now let's uh, hide this right icon. So for the left icon, I want to go ahead and choose that icon right there. So I want to go ahead and select that to refresh. So type in refresh. So you should see this icon right here. So for this, I'm going to type in um, repeat transaction, repeat transaction okay repeat transaction let me center it properly uh, center and for the type i'm going to use secondary okay so i'm going to use secondary right there and i'm also going to make it to fill the width so here i have okay i have a reference so fill the width okay and since it's a button I might just, you know, space it out a little more instead of 20, instead of 16, I might just use something around 32, okay, 32. Okay, great. So here we have our three screens added. We have the dashboard for the new user. We have the dashboard for, you know, returning users and they have their card information and then the transaction details and then when they click on this particular transaction it's going to bring them right on this page okay so one more thing i think we want to you know change these colors to our you know normal color so let's select that uh let's come in back let's come to the main component so for this manage card 
uh, we're going to choose our color. That's our color, neutral 900. The same thing with transaction. We want to use neutral 900, okay? Neutral 900. And the same thing with this MTN right here. So neutral 700, we're using neutral 900, okay? So that's what we basically want to call it.